Good afternoon there, everyone. Silver Dragon here. Going to be continuing my weekly Masterwork Dwarf Fortress. Now with the actual Dwarf Fortress mode. Yay! Since uh, Season 3 ended, we're going to start up Season 4 now, as it were. Uh, see how long that one lasts. Actually, the last one lasted pretty damn long. Ten episodes. With Dwarf Fort, it was about an hour or two hours long minimum, generally speaking. And that's that's actually pretty damn good, surprisingly enough. Usually it doesn't last that long being Dwarf Fortress. You know how it is with the fun and whatnot. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to be starting this up Season 4 here. So again, as always, if you guys wish to have a dwarf named after you, just comment on the page. And uh, definitely thank you for watching. Appreciate it. And I also have my other uh, series, if thou are interested in that. Anywho, let me uh, start this up here with new one. I've already created a new world. Tried the sandbox world for once. That was the advanced, uh, one of the default advanced uh, generators. So we're going to try that sucker out. Alright, Dwarf Fortress. Now, I finally understood what the heck somebody was telling me about how to figure out which one of your dwarves that you just get immediately are savants in specific uh I don't know, casts, I guess is what I'm looking for. Uh, but first things first, we've got to go set ourselves up somewhere. So I want to find, I want to make sure I am, have access to the correct caravans. Yep, drows. Don't really care for the elves and the humans as much. They can, you know, go die in a hole or something, but, <laughs> well, not really. Okay, I would like to go in here, but all I get is the dwarves if I go in here. Oh, this isn't too bad looking in here. There's a fortress right on the edge there, though, so I don't like that as much. What do we got here? Little soil, deep metals, shallow metals, wilderness. Uh, it's not too bad. Little soil is not really, I'm not really a fan of as much because I really want to. I don't want to go through and have to flood the thing. Ooh, wait, hello. That would be an interesting embark. <laughs> no, that'd be a little ridiculous. Let me shrink that sucker. Now, lately, uh, since I added in the uh, lodge, uh, lodge, lodge, very large, but no, uh, since I added the uh, large address aware into the uh, into the actual game in that sense, well, it's already in the program, but still. Uh, they just added that in uh, for this last update, and uh, pretty much allows you to use 4 gigs of RAM uh, for Dwarf Fortress, so I can pick a much larger embark initially without fear of instant laggy death or crashes. So it's quite useful in that sense. Alright, let's see what I have, I have access to all the stuff. Uh, civilizations, let's take a look. Holy shit! That's actually a giant freaking cliff right there. Damn. Oh, well, that might not work out then. Because, <laughs> yeah, the left, the entire left side there is an entire freaking cliff. Well, that actually would be pretty cool. That would actually be pretty cool. But let me extend it a bit more to the right so I actually have more to work with. So this is actually going to be an extra large, extra large biome. <laughs> actually, you know what, You know I'm going to increase it one more up even. This is going to be a double the size biome, or di double the size embark, pretty much. I have not made one this large. We will have to see what happens here. Yes, I have selected a large area for my embark. This is going to be crazy. Alright, let's prepare for the journey carefully. Now, in order to figure out which one of your dwarves, of these initial dwarves that just got randomly generated uh, when I hit uh, embark, are savants, you have to load up the therapist. Good old dwarf therapist. Connect to her, read dwarves, and go on and read their uh, read their titles here. This one's a dwarf cast, so nothing nothing impressive there. Dwarf cast. Ah, gem savant, this one. So he's already a level 10 accomplished gem cutter. So I'll be able to give him gem cutting for that. Nothing, nothing. Uh, royal dwarf. Interesting. Is often nervous. Let's see here. Highborn dwarves have a distaste for manual labor and uh, learn these skills only slowly. They are best used as administrators, doctors, and traders. So the good thing about this is... I can basically make him not only my trader, but my record keeper, my manager, all that stuff. Basically, this could be my guy. This is my guy, definitely. Or my gal, as it were, I guess, since it's female. And I could give her student so that she learns a little bit quicker and such. 
And uh, because she is a savant in those uh, in those areas, she will uh, much easier and uh, much quickly or much faster, uh, blah, blah, blah. I don't know where my brain is going right now. It's just like, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, uh, raise up those skills. And the last one is actually a dwarf of the crafter's guild, which is really nice. So we have a gem cra we have a gem savant, a royal dwarf, and a crafter's uh, guild dwarf. Now for this guy, the best things to give him would be masonry, carpentry, uh, bone carving, woodcraft, or stone carving, stuff like that. So, hmm, and student, yeah, student is definitely a major one to give to him as well. Uh, so I'm gonna give him, let's see, stone crafting, hmm. Stone crafting, carpentry, and mason. That sounds good. Okay, his name is Zan, so let's get that done first. So Zan. Let's get, uh, okay, here. Stone crafting, masonry. What else was it? Stone crafting, masonry, and there goes my brain. Derp. There's leather working, but no, it's not the one I wanted. Uh, crap. Carpentry, that's the one. Carpentry. I'll give him novice wood cutting, so he'll just get that done barely. And then I'll give him two in student. So that he'll learn that faster and such. Okay, so that's maxed out for him. Next, you want to get the... Now, this is going to be a bit unusual that I have so many crafters I'm bringing with me. Usually, I like to bring a lot of miners in the initial embark. So, this is going to be interesting. I'm going to have, like, maybe... Hmm, maybe, like, one miner, even. I don't know. That might be a little ridiculous, though, because I'll have, I'll, have I'll have to pretty much make sure I have two miners. So, more than likely, I'll just get rid of my regular uh, combat dwarf instead. Now, one of the nice things to get and immediately is like a legion dwarf or a sniper dwarf or something like that. It makes a really good combat dwarf to play around with. Okay, so let's go for my gem cutter now. Who is that? Let's see. Gem savant is Genlath. So we're going to give Genlath... Uh, I'm pretty much going to max it out so he's going to make really, really good gems right off the bat. Basically, he might even... he He's currently a level 10. Uh, derp. He's a level 10 gem cutter, so this will raise him up to, I think, 15. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, level 15. So he's not he's five, pretty much 5 away from being a legendary gem cutter and setter. Okay, next we have uh, my guy, which is, let's see, what's he called? Udib, or what's she called, I should say. Now, of course, she is the, yeah, she's the general one. So I'm just going to give her general... Uh, Healing practices, so wound dresser one 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 one. Two negotiator. Oh no, I can't do that one. Yeah, I would like to give student, but let's see here. Student one that would be useful for that. Flatterer, counselor, speaker, and leader. Student, yes, I would like to get student leader. Uh, let's see here. I guess he'll start off with these basic skills anyway. So I don't have to worry about this much. Well, let's see what skills will you start out with. It's interesting enough. Show details. Alright, let me stretch this sucker out. Artistic interest. Uh, appreciates art and natural beauty. Uh, Kivy level is very active, is trusting, occasionally overindulged, assertive, is often nervous, can handle stress, less susceptible to unhappy thoughts, not easily uh, moved to pity. <laughs> creativity is very good creativity, very bad analytical biddies, that's not great. Focus. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh well, so I don't see nothing in there, so I don't know what they'll end up with. But I'll see what I can give her. Because I really don't want to give her a one in everything. Uh, unless I have to get rid of the rest of it, though, to make her this just a... Hmm. It's a tough call. Um, Yeah, I'll get rid of this, just because I want to make sure it does a good job for... 
what he does here. So we'll go, let's see here. There we go, that'll be good. So I'll leave out the doctor stuff for now, just because I don't have the points to spread his abilities around like that. Generally, it's a nice thing to do, but not right now. Not with what I, not with what little I do have at the moment. Okay, now that is the three savants set up. So I already have a crafter, so I won't need to do that much with the uh, with the miner here. So I'll just have to go mining. Now the interesting thing is, I don't know why, I don't know how. Maybe it's because I let my history go to 150 odd years. I started with 8,000 points, and I still have stuff. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I still have stuff. I am going to be able to bring so much good gear and good stuff with me that you will not even believe that this is going to be uh, this is going to be a really really interesting embark. I have to say. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be able to bring. I could I could probably even bring like drakes or magma hounds or something with me like that. But I'm going to discuss. Uh, we'll we'll see about that later. Uh, no, yeah, we do have. I did give that guy wood cutting and such, so we don't have to mess around with that. He does have the rest of the stone cutting and so on and so forth. So. Uh, I'm just going to make you proficient miner. What else should I give you, my friend? Hmm. I guess I could give you engraving, I suppose. All right. Now I need my I have my I have my record keeper. Uh I have the woodcutter. I need the grower. So we just get that done immediately. There we go. We got my grower, brewer, cooker and such. I still have two left over, surprisingly enough. I want at least one more miner. Okay, let me go over this guy. You make him the miner. And then we have one more you can still mess around with if we do want a combat dwarf, we could do it. But since he's not really a savant, I'm not going to screw around with it too much just because it would take forever to really get him to a point that I'd like. So I'm going to see about giving him something else. Let's see here. So we'll go minor, and then mechanic is one thing I definitely need, so I'll give him mechanics. Okay, now for the last guy. What are we going to do with you, my friend? What are we going to do with you? Hmm. I could go for a metal worker and such, just to get an early metal industry going. But, you know, I'm going to make him a miner as well. I'm going to have three miners, at least, yeah. Make him a proficient miner. And for his other ability, what should I give you, my friend? Let's see. I'm gonna make him. You know what? Let's make him the animal trainer. Animal trainer. Okay. No, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. No, I'm gonna. I'm gonna default that to my uh, leader. He'll screw around with that for a while. Uh, glass making. I could make you a. Well, I could make you a warrior. Temporarily. Hmm. Tough choice. Tough choice. Oh well. You know what? Uh, let's see here. Let's see. What should I do? This is a tough choice. It's like I never actually had a point. Got to the point where I'm like, I have everything I need and some, and I'm just like, oh, what do I do now? Bugger, bugger. All right. Let's see here. Uh, let's give you something. Let's give you axe dwarf or something like that. That'll work. Yeah. Let's give you axe dwarf. At least we'll have somebody with some sort of combat skills. All right. Now let's customize this one, of course. Nickname. Hopefully I can earn the title Overlord by actually successfully surviving for more than, uh, <coughs> oh jeez, excuse me, more than 10, uh, 10 episodes this time. Uh, I'm going to try and keep it under, I'll say an hour and a half, just to, just as a benchmark for that. Alright, Iron Anvil, all the wines and stuff. I gotta get rid of all this junk. Excuse me. Oh, man. Been sick lately. Kind of sucks. That and I have to work, and that's... Yeah, well. You got to get, gots to work or pay the bills, so... You know how it goes. Alright, let me get rid of these tubers, because they're expensive. I never, I never bring food with me that costs four. It's just a complete waste. Get rid of the quivers. We'll keep one bucket, we'll keep one splint and crutch. Well, no, we'll get rid of the splints and crutches and the wheelbarrow. That's just a waste of money. Fine, a big old waste of money. So, let's see here. Um, I guess I'll bring an axe with me as well to help these guys out. What, 
One major thing I really want with this much resources, I'm going to bring a crap ton of plump helmets. Because uh, farming now, this, with the new harder farming in this, it takes an incredibly long time to uh, actually farm things. So, to be able to bring 30, like 80 plump helmet seeds and 30 of the other ones with me is going to be really nice. Alright, now... I need to decide what animals with 8,000, 8,700 points, what animals to bring with me. Literally, I could bring so many different animals with me. It's just ridiculous right now. I'm also going to bring an axe. So I'm going to give that guy a good axe and some armor, some basic armor. All right, let's go weapons here. Bismuth, bronze, battle axe. That'll do. Yep, that'll do. Let's give him some basic armor. Helmet, just a helmet and a, and a chest piece here. We'll give him a bismuth bronze breastplate and uh, a good helmet. So they start, we, well, the civilization must be rich as hell to give us all this stuff. Blood steel, that's tempting. But anyway, okay, now we get to decide what uh, lovely puppies to bring with us and such. Definitely, definitely going to bring some ironclad dogs. Hell yeah. War ironclad mastiff. Now the thing is, it, there's no point to bring in like a, war, like a war version of it because you can just tame them or train them like that in two seconds. So I'm just going to go, let's see here. I'll bring four, four female, one male ironclad dogs. Amox Ward, Landmine, Fire Landmines, Bullet Turrets. I didn't even bring frickin' turrets. You know what? I'm going to bring a bullet turret with me and see about getting it some rounds. I will set it up in the main entrance as my, as my primary defense. The fact that I'm actually buying a turret is ridiculous. I could buy a prototype sword golem even, but no. I'm going to spend a lot of my points on a lot of pets and stuff. Uh, let's see here. To keep my initial food count up, I think I'm going to bring... Mm. Let's bring four of these turkey hens with me. Alright, once the, uh, grab us some, where's it at, tools. Nest boxes. Wow, yeah, I want to buy an aluminum spiked my er spiked blade trap for 1600 oh frack no hell no hell no now where's my copper nest boxes damn it bronze there we go so i have one for each of them now let's see here drakes i could bring drakes with me Ooh, it would be a good one if I had raptors. Let's see if there's any raptors around here. Because they're expensive. They are extremely expensive. But I would love to have one. Now, booze belly goats. I'm definitely going to bring them. Four females, one male. Frill lizard. Tortoises. Nope. Nada. Cave tortoises. That's That's too bad. That is too bad. I would have liked to have had that. Anyway, we do have the Mastiffs. I think I'm just going to bring more more of these dogs here. Alright. It's like, geez, I, I'm honestly at a loss here. Like, I, There's so much I could bring and do. It's ridiculous. I've never had this much to work with, as far as I remember. It's, I'm just like, oh god, I could buy everything. Ah, uh, so what do I bring with me? Uh, let's see here. New items. I definitely want to bring some of this. So let's bring some charcoal with me. Some initial charcoal. Uh, let's bring some potash. Would be nice. I'd get some actual increased yield. Soap definitely. I'm definitely bringing like 20 soap because I never, I never make soap enough. I never make soap fast enough. And it always bite comes back and bites me in the ass. So it'd be nice to actually have it for once. Create a copper bars, iron bars. I can bring all that with me if I so wanted. 
Uh, let's see. Coke. Wait, is Coke better than... Let's see. Coke is 10. Charcoal is also 10. So, uh, does it really matter because they amount to the same? No, it doesn't really matter. Okay. So let me head down here again. Uh, let's see. Lie would be for making that. Let's make some, get some potash. Or potash. Whatever you want to call it. I'll bring 20 of that. I can still bring more, far, far more. <laughs> uh, ridiculousness. Alright. I could bring thread with me if I so wanted. Backpacks, quivers. Let's bring some backpacks with us. Dear Lord. Flasks and water skins. Tin flasks. I don't want the flasks, I want the water skins. Here we go. Alright, what else? I could bring all the different kinds of rum. Ah, this is what I need to do here. I need to get rid of these, uh, get rid of the extra, uh, the picks I have. And instead get battle picks. Because they're much more effective versions of the other picks. Let's go for the bismuth bronze. Oh, these are, these are copper battle picks. Okay, good, because uh, they've differentiated between the picks now. Uh, just a normal pick won't do as won't do as much, but a battle pick will go through stone and such a lot quicker. Okay, dear God, I don't know. I don't even know what to bring right now at this point. It's just ridiculous amounts of stuff I can bring with me. Bring some initial wood. Bring some initial stone. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna bring some initial. Uh, what? Well, not not hematite. But some flux stone. Dolomite, baby. Yeah, yeah, dolomite. Alright. Let's get some initial wood logs with me so I can just build immediately. And let's see. Dear God, I still have 3,000 points. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh man. Guess I'll add more to the wine stocks. If I lose this embark, I will be shocked right now with the amount of stuff I'm able to start with. I would be shocked. It's just ridiculous. You know, I may as well buy him a full set of armor at this point. Bismuth bronze gauntlets. Two of those. Because, of course, you need to pair. Alright, but no, anyway, footwear, bronze boots, and leggings. So he's fully decked out in good gear. As well, I'm even going to give him a shield. That's, that's, I mean, that's what I'm going to do. I'm even going to grab him a shield. Alright, and I still have 3,000 to go. Uh, wow. I am... I am slightly shocked by this. It's just like, oh my god. What am I going to do with all this? Ah! Let's get some ironclad mass tiffs as well. There we go. That's starting to... That's starting to lessen our... Uh, I managed to uh, take that by half now. By getting five ironclad mass tiffs. And uh, one male. Alright, I got my bullet turret. I'm down to a thousand now, so I can actually start to, uh, jeez, start to spend on other things. Okay, charcoal, that's good enough for initial charcoal. Hopefully I'll find some uh, more stuff later. I won't have to screw around with that as much. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here for other items? Uh, digging implements. My god, it's like, what What do I want to bring with me now? Uh could bring a lot of raw glass with me. It would allow me to... I could make some glass windows with those and set up some really initial, cool initial things. Wolframite blocks, trap components, cheeses, crafts. No, I don't want to bring crafts with me. Tools. No. 
honestly, there's like nothing else I want to bring with me. I wish I could pump it into my dwarves, but I can't. I'll bring some. I'll bring a couple of quivers with me as well. All right. Let's just bring a let's br bring a building stone, such as rock salt. Give us the initial. Ooh, and lignite. Lignite is a uh, flux stone, or not flux stone, is a uh, coal producing stone. So I'll bring like 20 of that. So basically I'm just going to pump the rest of my stuff into stone to for initial building pretty much at this point. Which is kind of redonkulous, but yeah. That's the, I'm, at the, I'm literally at the point where I'm just like spinning. Let's, let's just buy a lot of stone, let's just buy a lot of stone. 40, 40 that. Let's see where's my initial logs. I'll add, I'll make that 20. Um, let's see here. You know, what? let's just make sure I never run out of pump helmet spawn ever. 120. I'm gonna make these 50. This is redonkulous, man. This is redonkulous. And of course, I'm gonna get some differing kinds of beer because you know the dwarves. They just need their beer. They, they, they couldn't survive without their daily dose of liquor. Well, well no, more like hourly do dose of liquor. But you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Alright, drinks. Let's get some river spirit. Oh, let's get some dwarven wine. Give them some dwarven wine. Alright. I'll bring that. Okay, what else? What else should I bring? Actually, let's check the ammo. See if I can actually buy bullets for that thing. Axe heads, bolts. No, I don't see it in that. Hmm. Trap components. Axe blades, saw blades. You know what? I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna buy some of these saw blades and stuff here if I can. If I can find some cheap ones now at this point. Just cause I can build something initially with that. A uh, what's it called? Here we go. Copper saw blades. Need two of those for for that. Uh, what else? So I'm gonna be able to get a lot of the initial like big new stuff for this built. Uh, dear God, I've spent like a good 20, 30 minutes on this thing. It's redonkulous. But it's just been that that crazy. I never get this much this much cash to spend on this stuff. So I'm just like, oh God, I could get so much. Uh... All right. Um, what else? You know what? Where's that thing? Let's see. Brass, bronze, cobalt, copper minecart. Not exactly what I'm looking for. Copper wheelbarrow. There we go. I'll get them some of those. They can just haul stuff around quickly. Alright. So I have... Enough stuff to drown myself in. Just redonkulous amounts of items. Uh, I'm even going to get rid of that weapon, I think. The Bismuth Bronze Battle Axe. And I'm going to buy him the most expensive weapon I can. Let's see here. Bismuth Bronze. Black Bronze is pretty expensive. Blood Steel Battle Axe is 816. So yeah, that's probably what I'll buy him is the blood steel. Yeah, it's starting to look like it. Iron bone, battle axe, nope, not even close. Gold battle axe, oddly enough, is uh, expensive for some reason. Titanium, chopping axe. Let's see, steel. How much is a steel battle axe? Eight hundred and sixteen as well. Titanium. Now that would be interesting. If they had a battle axe, they only have a chopping axe. Guess I'll just buy him a steel one. Wolframite. Welded cobalt great axe, 810. 
Oh, the meteoric stuff, of course, which was pretty overpowered for a long time there. It'd basically be like hitting him with a giant slade hammer or something. But anyway, let's buy him, let's buy him the steel battle axe. There we go. That'll be good. Oh, wow. That actually specifically used up all the points, looks like. Nice. Thank God. Now I can finally name the fortress and get embarked here. Okay, let's see here. Fate Fortifications. I like that. The Fortress of Fate Fortifications. Group name, the Barricades of Kindling. That goes well with Fate Fortifications. I will keep that. And Kindling reminds me of Dark Souls. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we're deck to the nines right now. We, we've got... Dear God. Oops. <laughs> so much stuff. So much stuff. All right, let's do this. Let's do this thing, finally. After, like, 40 minutes of me, like, just drooling oh, over the amount of points I had to spend, let's actually, get, let's actually get stuff done. <laughs> Oops. This is just a sharp cliff down here. Now... The safest bet would be for my guys to get on this side here and uh, set their fortress up over over here, like an actual fortress fortress. So that's what I'm going to basically do, is I'm going to get them over there and set up a uh, like a full-on outdoor fortress with what I have here. So let me get... Uh... Let's build a little floor here with rock salt. I'll look at them across quickly. What the hell? Oh, jeez. And suddenly asps instantly spawn there. Wow. We got unicorns, black caimans, asps, carps, alligators. Asp takes the full force of the impact. Bruising the muscle, bruising the outer brain. Here, let me go military. I'm not sure which guy it is that actually has those skills. Metal armor. Fishing axe dwarf, Rigoth, that's the one. Alright, it's up to you, man. Go kill that asp. see what he's wearing here. Inventory. Wait, are you serious? Dude, you idiot. You're not even, you're not, you don't even have your freaking weapon. What the hell is wrong with you, man? Military. Uh, equipment. Alright, let me equip you specifically with everything then. Steel battle axe. There we go. Greaves. Hand to wear, which is gloves. All right, left and right gloves. Footwear, get rid of that. Boots. Hopefully that won't screw him up there. Shield. There we go. Someone actually has the uh, ability to fire we a fire blah, crossbow and is using it. Okay, now, congratulations! You are now actually armed to do your job. Now get over there and kill that thing. Wait! Oh my God! What is wrong with you? Okay, second I thought you didn't actually get it. Kill it! Kill it! 
I'm scared far enough away that it's fine. Alright, you can come back now. As long as he's not disrupting us. Now, the other two over here are the three you will have to kill. Because they are in my way. Hey! Snake! Get out of here! Punk ass snake. Trying to mess with my dwarves. I don't want you dropping that there, getting killed. What's this? Oh my god, you idiot. Why did you just drop all of your armor on the ground? What are you smoking, my friend? Wow, this is getting a little ridiculous at times. Okay, what's left on the ground there? His bismuth bronze breastplate, all that is still on the ground. Pick up your junk. You idiot. Okay, good. All right, boys. What are you doing? Seriously. Oh my god. I'm already starting out here, though, and I'm just wondering why my militia commander has been smoking crack all day long here. It's like, dude, you're going two feet away. You do not need provisions. Military. Supplies. There we go. It's like you'll be there for two seconds, you fool. Alright. Workshop. Carpenter's workshop. Let's get everything set up over here. Get a mason's workshop, jeweler's workshop. All right. A pretty good setup here, so we'll have a really good initial place to just barricade off and survive in. Uh, I want to make sure that they don't go anywhere near this thing because it'll probably just kill them instantly. Get him! Alright, Axdor is finally fighting. He get bit but in the torso, but it was glanced away. Whirls around with the steel battle axe set oh, on the head. So he just basically severed the thing's head right off. Lovely. Keep it up! Got a few more to kill. Okay, Mason's Workshop, all that set up now. Uh, let me get my initial uh, digging done here. So where do I want this for? I'll put the back of it right over here, actually. Yeah, I'll toss the back end over here. Let's get all the dogs in here. As well as the other animals. I'll have the dogs just kind of pastured over here just to keep them initially there we go bullet turret I'll just uh, let's see put the bullet turret over here there we go Get ourselves. Oops, did not mean to do that. 
a good farm here. Sorry if I'm a little bit slow at the moment here. Usually I'm a bit faster than this, but I'm just like, oh, I got all these freaking snakes around here I need to get rid of so I can actually get shit done. They're being a little annoying. There we go. So that'll give them a good place to start off for, uh, for that bit. And I'll make a good initial dig site. All right, let's get a large place down here for the goats and everything else. So all of our farming, well, not all of our farm animals, but this is just the big pasture right here. Blue's belly goats and the horses. All right, we'll get a smaller one up here for the turkeys. I should probably have already had pastured by now. Alright, so now we're getting shit done. Build. Nest boxes. Now we're getting shit done. Alright. Carpenter's workshop. There we go. Get that snake! Alright. Where the hell did he go? There he is. Got you now, punk! Get back here, you bastard! There we go. Alright, now you can go do whatever you want, my friend. Go have fun. Alright, so he's also a miner, so he can actually go get, go mine now. That's basically why he dropped all his stuff. Uh, it was because he's a miner, and he uh, went to go grab his pick and everything, so he just dropped all his gear on the ground. And was just like, alright. Oh, wow. <laughs> Let's see here. Tax, but the asp jumps away. Oh, that's a different one. So looks like he killed, he hacked at the asp in the tail with a steel battle axe, tearing at the fat. Makes a backhanded strike of the asp in the tail again, and the severed parts sail off in an arc. And then he did a uh, undercut swing at the asp in the body with his power of his steel battle axe, tearing apart the scale, lodging the blade firmly in the wound, and then twisting it in the wound. These poor snakes, man, they're just getting annihilated by this guy. Then again, he does have really, really good stuff, so I'm not surprised at least. Alright, so let me get my initial... Just a general kind of... Well, let me, let me move it somewhere else here. Move it over here. This is just a general stuff stockpile, as I like to call it. I usually don't keep this around for long. Uh, but I'm going to put it in here for now. Just so I can move all the stuff off this thing right here. And then we're going to disassemble this for now. Well, we don't want to have to disassemble it. We just have to get some kind of tower around it so it's protected. Let's get some trees cut down here. Alright. We get another zone here as well. For animal training. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to read my dwarves and see all their lovely fancy skills. Here I am. So again, if any of you guys want one of these lovely dwarves, except for of course mine, Hiss, then uh, let me know. So yeah, he's a level 15 now, you can see here, just like I thought. A legendary gem cutter. No, he is a legendary gem cutter. Nice. So he yeah, it's kind of nice having him start off as legendary gem cutter. Military skills are crap, generally speaking, but what, do, what can you do? Alright, so... My guy's gonna train the animals, so we're gonna go into the. If I can actually click the damn thing, animals, and we're gonna war train every freaking one of these dogs, which means they're also gonna follow him around like freaking crazy and be all over the damn place, crapping all over the floors. And nah, I'm just kidding. Okay, let's remove the building here. I don't even know why this chest is here. What is this? 
Oh, that's his stuff again. He dropped on the ground like an idiot. Okay, so they have dug down quite a bit. Ooh, they even found some hematite. Lovely. So I guess I'll be able to get that early steel industry up and running after all. Alright, so once, he's, once they're actually done digging out the farm area, which would help because it takes forever to get shit done. Come on, people. Get your asses in gear. Ooh, we got some salmon in the river. Nice. So we have some really good rivers here. Alright, come on, boys. You're not haulers. Let me fix that. Alright, farmer. Not farmer. Toggle hauling. These two. Problem solved. Thank you for that tip, by the way. Whoever gave me that tip for the uh, right-clicking of the hauling. Does simplify things, makes things uh, quicker. Thank you kindly. Alright, so they're going to get their asses to work now. Hopefully. Stray Ironclad War Dog of Death. Lovely. Alright. Build workshop. Let's get a... Uh, I'm just going to immediately get a still in here. With rock salt. We're going to get a kitchen. That's not a kitchen. There's the kitchen. Get ourselves a kitchen. No, oh, I don't wait for this. And I want to get the uh, stockpile in between it. There we go. Build. Workshop. And right on down to kitchen. Let's get you in place, my friend. With rock salt, of course. Alright, build a stock... No, not farm plot. Quickly. Well, I will be building a farm plot. But first I want to get the stockpile. All right, settings. Forbid everything except for seeds and plants. All right, and as for this guy right here, they already have the plants in there. But let me, for all the seeds in there, let me fix that. Forbid. There we go. So they'll haul them down there into the actual stockpile that they're supposed to be in, and shit will get done. Nice. Until I get my guy up and running with his uh, stuff, let me make him a mason as well so we can get this wall built so I'll probably do it right here let's see yeah it looks good actually it has to be one yeah there we go rock salt floor so I want to extend this thing to be about four wide. There we go. And let's get these in place. So I'll basically have to, well, it's not going to work out too well for me. Hopefully I shouldn't be able to go around the thing. Tuh, <laughs> but they might be able to. So I'll have to, I'll have to build a floor to it afterwards and get that set up properly. What is this though I see here? Whoa, did not mean to do that. That's all their current jobs. Straight bullet turret. Oh, here's the bullet turret. Okay. Let me, uh, let me put you over here. There we go. Alright, bullet turret. Have you moved over there? Whenever they get the chance, they'll do so. Alright. Straight ironclad ward uh, mastiff. Nice. Okay, let's get all the farm plots built. Whoops, too big. Well, considering I have to wait a long time, I think I'll make some really large farm plots much larger than I'd usually make, just because farming takes a really long time now. I'm going to make like four extremely large uh, 
plots. Actually, we'll just go like that, yeah. That'll be my standard size for this. Okay. Because that'll keep my farmer busy like hell. Especially when harvest time comes around. They're going to need a lot of help to quickly harvest all this stuff. All right. That's been built. Everything's been built, ready to go here. And look at all that crap we have to haul over there. So all the people that can haul are going to be spending the next while doing nothing but hauling. But that's all right. Okay. I also want to get this area here walled in as well. Probably below the uh, below this little lake here. So I'll wall, I'll get a good big size wall right here to about this point. Edge it over to actually I'll edge it straight across here even. Just straight across to here. And I'll build a gate in the thing. Alright, that looks good. Let me get the uh, miners working on the actual things they're supposed to be working on. Alright, let's see here. No, oh, one more. There we go. That looks pretty even. That built. And this one's gonna be much larger. This is the actual indoor stockpile that's going in here. So I'll make her yay big, especially with all the stuff I brought with me. Alright. That'll keep him busy for quite a while. Found some initial gems, good. Oh, we even found some coal. Perfect. It's beautiful. Lignite. And you know what? We are so set in this fortress right now. We have basically what is an impregnable wall on several sides. If we have enemy forces that attempt to cross from this, they're going to be getting their asses kicked. I'm also going to build a wall there, though, because that's pretty dangerous, and I really don't want that there. It kind of makes me a bit nervous to have this thing right here, because I'm, I'm worried that my dwarves are going to be stupid and try and get over here and get themselves killed. Like, cross here. Because you know dwarves, if they see a one tile water, be like, ooh, I'm going to go across here. Ah! Splat. And insta-death. All the way down here. Like, I don't want to see a pile of dwarf corpses down here. Like the snakes. Look at this, see? We have two asp skeletons down here because they tried to cross. And they weren't too successful in that crossing. So that's what happens. Oh, what's going on here? Strangler is fighting. The spinning copper laced with water strikes the strangler in the right thigh, fracturing the bone. Okay. What is a strangler, anyway? Large, four-armed ape creature with three eyes and razor-sharp teeth. Gigantic, hair is black, skin is black, eyes are black. That's why I want to get this place quickly boarded off. Drive by them, lost or destroyed. Alright, if you can't do it, you can't do it. You just gotta do what you can, my friends. Actually, I kind of want to make this wider. By two. There we go. Perfect. All right, we're golden. Oh, what's happening? Stray war mastiff shakes the strangle around by the second right arm, tearing apart the second right arm's muscle, bruising the bone. Artery has been torn. Tendon's been torn. Okay, so that's why you don't fuck with my dogs. Punks. They gonna mess up your life, boys! Unable to complete the kitchen. Okay, I'm 
curious as to why, but I'll just make it again. Okay, let's start getting some of this planted here. So I'm just going to go plump helmets for every season. I have two plots dedicated to plump helmets. Let's make this one cave wheat. And the last one I'll make sweet pods. All right, so when I get my next, uh, but the good, th the, there's the good and the bad. Because I brought so much stuff with me, my initial embark of migrants is going to be huge. And I'm also going to put some. Uh, let's get the beds placed just somewhere in here right now. Actually, yeah, let's use this place for that for now. It's going to be where all our crafting stuff gets placed, but it's for now, we'll be fine. Okay, what's our dude doing here? Oh yes, another thing we need to do is because uh, of the more difficult mining as well, uh, while my guys are mining, there's a chance that they could summon a rock elemental. Or basically an elemental on what, depending on properties of whatever it is they're currently digging. So you can, if you get like a iron elemental, you'll need something stronger than iron to, to kill it. So anyway, let me go on to these miners here. I'm going to go for the preferences. I'm going to go to labor animals. And I'm going to assign them an ironclad mastiff. So they each have an ironclad mastiff with them at all times to protect them. There we go. That should be good. Alright. Now I'm going to temporarily disable the guy that actually has carpentry. I oh, don't know, where is he? Uh, disable your masonry then. Because I really need you to start digging that, building that carpentry stuff. I really do. I'm also going to disable your hauling temporarily. Alright, there we go. Now it'll keep you busy for a bit. Or so I hope. There we go. No, he's getting it done. He is getting it done. Alright, good. And he should level up those skills really quickly since he is a, a crafter savant. So although he doesn't start off with the initial skills, he levels it incredibly quickly. I think it like, uh, I'm not sure if it's like 75% extra bonus or what it was, but anyway. What do we have in the, in the area here? A bunch of carps, some alligators, ravens. Nothing, nothing to concern myself with too much at this point in time. Yeah, he's already starting to plant a huge amount of stuff in there. Excuse me. Aw, weird. They didn't make the they didn't make my stuff properly. I'm like, what the frack are you doing, my friend? We need a chair or we can't Well, it's probably not that he didn't make the chair, it's just that he didn't haul it into the actual uh, stockpile yet, so I couldn't use it. Yep, that's exactly what the issue was. So I get all these initial bits placed right now. Let's get some, uh, a couple more tables and chairs made. Should be golden. Struck date of copper. How lovely for us. Now, right now we're mining hematite, which makes me a bit nervous on that sense. All right, build beds. Okay. There we go. Make it a barracks or a man of barracks a dormitory. Make this place a uh, meeting hall temporarily. Assign this to myself so I can get myself working. I should probably assign myself onto the noble screen soon. There's those ravens. I'm going to be moving the general stockpile indoors here soon. And then I'll sort it out eventually into its individual proper pieces, as it were. 
Matter of fact, let me let me make a giant stockpile room here right now. Let me extend this a bit here on the sides. There we go. Struck tetrahedrite, so we struck more copper. Alright, that should be good. Let me make myself a little throne room there. Assign that to myself. Well, not really a throne room, but you know what I mean. Okay, now that I'm finally a bit in here, let me actually get shit done. Okay, I'm going to assign myself as the bookkeeper, the broker. I could do overseer as well, but I'm just going to leave that for now. Yeah, I'm going to do overseer. There we go. Alright. Go down to bookkeeper. Settings. Keep him, uh, keep a high precision. So he'll start working on that. He'll level that pretty quickly with his savant, with royalty savant. Started raining. I cannot wait for my, uh, first embark of actual dwarves. Okay, I need to uh, create a stockpile, specifically for beer here soon. Because they never, they never move it, they never move the beer, unless there's a specific stockpile just for it for some reason. It really drives me a bit nuts at times, but you know what, that's alright. Permit. There we go. All right, perfect. So they should haul those in there. Build workshop, jeweler's workshop. Let's get some legendary jewels crafted here. Send my jeweler up there to get that done. I should have given him masonry, so he would have helped out with that. Oh well. I'll do that. I'll do that in a second, actually. There we go. So when you're not doing your jewelry, or jewelmanship, or whatever you want to call it really at this point, jewel crafting, you'll be able to uh, help them with the masonry, because that's the primary uh, primary thing we need done right now is masonry. Build another wall section here out of rock salt. So we've used our initial rock salt well. We've got ourselves a good, uh, let me get uh Get an initial bridge here set up. Duh, it's not going to be a large bridge at all by any standards. Just a small bridge. And it will also globally enable architecture. Because they always seem to not want to do the architectural work, so I'm just give everyone architecture so no one. I, so I never get any of that bullshit where, oh, I'm sorry, we don't want to construct this because we need an architecture. It's like, well, now you all have architecture. Now get to work. Now I'll also be able to create a funnel here that will fill it with traps for stuff like the unicorns here. Because unicorns with this can be captured and tamed. So if I'm getting a lot of them into my fortress area here, I should really start laying down a bunch of traps to capture them. All right. Of course, I'd have to keep them in their cages for pretty much ever until their training uh, works properly. Okay, let me get some uh, initial cages built here. Build workshop. Let's get a uh, mechanics workshop up here. Damn. Ah, I can't, just can't find a good spot to put it, looks like. Fail. I'm making that schist. Okay, that'll keep that going for a bit. How's this? Oh, they've already finished digging it out. That's perfect. Alright, let me get the stockpile set up. Of course, we need a large area for finished goods. Large area for furniture. Big one for bars and blocks, definitely. Initial wood. Let's see. Small one for 
leather, cloth, weapons, armor, ammo, gems, I'm gonna get a pretty large stockpile actually. What else? What else? That's good enough for that. So we just increase the wood stockpile size then. Alright, gems is going to be pretty huge. Just gonna go E gems. Have a large, large stockpile for gems. Just because they're gonna be my main uh, source of income for a while. Alright, that should be good. All right, cut, repeat. Okay, those are the only ones I found is jade, zircon, and rock crystals. That'll be more than enough though. All right, whoops, I didn't mean to smack that. Let's go down here, get some more beds placed. Waiting on the masons to get the uh, tables and chairs built for nothing. Needs rough clear zircons, and that's pretty quick then. Go through that in no time. All right, let me go to stockpile here. Remove this giant stockpile. Okay, they should start hauling all that stuff indoors now. When they get the chance, that'll keep. Uh, I mean, it'll, they'll basically ensure that the ravens and other annoying birds that fly through here aren't just gonna steal our shit. Summer is upon us. Cheers for summer. Nice. All right. Saving, saving. Okay, let's check our crafter out. Where's he at? Yeah, he's level three stone crafting. I'll re-enable his masonry so he can get to work on that again. Okay. But yeah, he, he started with like level, I think level 1 carpentry or something like that. He's already gotten to level 3, so... Those savants, man, they're just golden. Absolutely golden. I remember I actually was doing my uh, live uh, series of this, and I had a combat savant, a uh, legion dwarf. Unfortunately, unlike today where I had enough, enough to give him the best of the best almost... Uh, he didn't. He didn't have a lot, and he got sent in a cave with a bunch of trolls to find a water source before everyone uh, starved to death, or not starved to death, before everybody uh, dehydrated to death. So, yeah, that kind of sucked. Wow. Apparently, they lost a whole lot of stuff for some reason. You guys just lost everything, didn't you? Now look at them, they're slowly cancelling the bridge one tile at a time. It's like, I can't find the rock. I can't find the rock. I can't find the other rock. <laughs> Ridiculous. Oh well. Let's make it out of basalt then. There we go. You know what? I'll even cancel off all this stuff here and build the floor here. See floor out of basalt as well. So we'll have a lovely multicolored uh, floor here going in. Now our initial entrance here is almost completed. This bit right here is alright for now. I'd like to expand the wall further, but I'll leave it like that for now. Basically anything that goes through here is going to die anyway. This is just to keep my dwarves out. Alright, so I don't have to worry about intru enemy intrusion from that angle. As a matter of fact, I'd almost welcome enemy intrusion from that angle. I might put a bridge in there and use it as a trap. Might make a really good trap. Yeah, you know what? Actually, that'd be a good idea. I could build like a retractable bridge on this thing with a wall right there. And just like, retract it as they're coming across. <laughs> that'd be evil. I could even expand this waterfall to make it that a guarantee in that sense. That'd be a good idea. I think I might have to do that. Yeah, so this is going to be my waterfall trap. <laughs> hmm. I'll have to set it up, though, in such a way... 
that I can get their items. This is my pondering look. How could I do that? I could set up a bunch of grates so that water could go through, but then I'd have to somehow cut off the waterfall temporarily so that I could uh, work with it down below to create it. Basically, they fall down, they go straight down, and they slam into a rock surface, basically, that my dwarves can access. So, actually, that's a good idea. That's actually a really good idea. So basically, what my basic plan for this is, if I'm gonna set, if I can set up eventually, I'm going to build like a, a platform up top here, up above this section of the river right here. I'm going to collapse it in. Actually, I'll probably build it even right here or something. Uh, yeah, this section right here. I'm basically gonna build a giant platform up above it with floor and everything. I'm gonna uh, collapse it and cut off the river temporarily. So it's going to stop, it's going to dry, this part of it's going to dry out, and I'll be able to work with it. Uh, once this part has dried, of course I'll have to secure this area so they can't just go around me at that point uh, and enter in my fortress. Uh, once that's done, I will build a series of, well I'll get rid of these up rafts for one, and I'll build a series of floodgates here, or even right here, all connected to a single lever. I will then go down here a couple layers, like say, say right about uh, right about here, even. <coughs> Let me actually designate this area off for of that. Let's see, it's just above it. Yeah, I can even go deeper. Actually, let's go deeper than that, just to want to make sure they go splat. Yeah, right here will do. It's pretty near the bottom. So basically, I go down here. I build a series of grates right here. Actually, I'll probably even extend it like a series of grates all the way to here. And then I build a wall right here to ensure that my guys aren't going to get swept, swept off. Then I build a bridge, like a tunnel here with a bridge. So that when the enemies get swept down the waterfall, the water goes down, but they go splat. And I get to go collect their stuff. All their items should not, I believe, go through the grills. I'm not 100% on that. I have not done anything like remotely like this before. This is a mega project. This is definitely a mega project. Because I have to stop the water flow. Then I have to get down here, build a floor, uh, get the wall in place, remove parts of the floor, build the grates. So this is going to be a mega project right here. So hopefully you guys are excited, excited for that kind of experimenting with that as I am, because that's just ooh, can't wait to try that out, kind of thing. All right, now let me let me reset my hotkeys at this point. Zoom here, and my time is getting pretty short as well, so I'm gonna whip through this as quickly as I can. Let me get a go down here a bit. Let's get a nice, epic-sized uh, meeting hall in here. Alright. Obviously it's not gonna be this far away. So let me start off with a giant a giant box, basically. Obviously that's too huge. That's ridiculously huge. Sure, let me actually make this specific sized. Okay, from this point here. Okay. extend this even further than that. Let's see, how many is that in here? Six. Alright. Okay. It 
This is going to be one hell of a legendary dining hall when I'm done with it. Shave it like a diamond! Nah, oh, that'd be nice, but I... yeah. Couldn't do it. <laughs> well, I could, but it would take quite a while. Okay. Now, I'm gonna have to see if I can find the center of this sucker. Congratulations, you are the unofficial official center. build out from here. So this is basically going to be the well area. Looking good. Alright. Now, what's next? No. Okay, let's see here. Hmm. I could even use those floodgates as well to fill this thing. Hmm, that's a good thought. However, I want to make sure I have to put the floodgate on the edge because I don't want anything getting in here. I might even have to make a redundant floodgate, depending. Just because I really don't want to have any risk that a building destroyer happens to take a wild swing at the thing while he's falling down. Okay. Let's see here. I think I'm going to do it like... Yeah, that's how I'm going to do it. Start it off right here. Four. Okay. Oops, wait. One more. Alright. Let's get going right about here. So basically I'm keeping this pattern and keeping the entrance running there while allowing them to have quite a large zone for uh, for eating and setting up tables. Okay. Let's get the next one set up here. Looking good. Perfect. Like it. Love it. Now, usually when it comes to stuff like this, I mismeasure it and though it doesn't look good afterwards. But you know what? For this, I can adjust it if I have to. If I have to, I can always adjust a bit. On the edges, that is, not the actual interior, because the interior is basically the focal point. That is the focal point, this is how it looks. So if I have to adjust the exterior for it, then I will. Like you can see right here, this one is a little bit too close. So I will go over here and adjust it to fit properly. Alright. Same for this side. Now, the thing to, in order to fix this completely, I have to go like this, though. Because I have adjusted it by one. So, in order to make the spikes match the other side here, I also need to adjust it back by one. And depending on how it looks, I might adjust the other one forward. How close it is from the edge. Let's 
This looks good. I like it. And then on this side, yeah, I'm going to extend this a bit more probably. tend to do there. Hmm. Well, I guess that's okay for now. And let's see here. I'll even add the, uh, let's see, what do I want? The kitchen and storage room. So I'll have the kitchen here and I'll have the storage room one up. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. So yeah, actually, that's how I'm going to do it, too, for this thing. I'm going to go like this. So, you know, let me adjust this, uh, the size of this thing here. Okay, so I need it large enough for... About this big. I want to have them. I want to have two of these come from in here. So that's one. Adjust one more wide. Okay, one, two. That should be perfect. So I have one there, perfect center. Wait, let me see here. Center, perfect center, leads up to this. Okay, perfect. That should be good. Yup, yup. Okay. stairs, downward stairs, which are then basically connected together to the massive stockpiles, which go here. This is all about sexy designing at this point. Alright, so I'll adjust it about that big, about that close, I mean. And then we'll go... Say about half here. That should be right. Crimp the corners. Now, for those that wonder why am I crimping these corners like this, basically it's a design thing. Once you get the wall smoothed in, if you crimp the corners like this, or even do more of uh, something like even a wider one like this it looks really good so I'll probably do a bit of a wider one there we go that looks nice because when you get that smoothed out you can even put light you can even put lines in this thing to make it look like barrels in a sense, not really, not well, sort of. It's not not amazing, but you know. Let me put this one right here. Okay. Let's see. Five, five. That's perfect. Sort of. <laughs> it works. It works. Let me extend this one. Let me extend both these ones more. There we go. That fixes that issue. Let me cut 
copy over the design. So that way it kind of looks like, uh, you know, the shelving, like how one would build a underground uh, kind of larder where it has the support walls in a sense and then you have all the, so all, the, all the food stored on the walls and such like that, shelves on the walls. Anyway, now this has been a lot longer video than I had intended, so we have an initial setup that's really good. We have a goal for a mega project. I'm not even kidding you. This is the type of embark right now where I could literally go like a good 10 hours, just keep playing and playing and playing and be like, Are my eyes bleeding yet? No? Okay, I'm still good. <laughs> oh my god, that'd be ridiculous. But yeah, so this is this is looking good. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it going for a little bit longer. I don't want to make this video too long. It's already it's already at least about an hour, maybe a bit probably about probably a bit, probably quite a bit longer. Actually, that's yeah, quite a bit. It is a lot. This is a huge video by now because I started about, yeah. So yeah, I think I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna have to end this here for now, more than likely. Uh, we got everything set up here. We spent way too much time. In the, pretty much because we spent way too much time in the initial uh, setup and whatnot. So yeah, I think since we started out so well right now, there's no dangers in the area as far as I know. We're pretty, pretty well set up. We have a couple goals for us now. Okay. So let me let me outline the goals for the next video and such. Uh, the, well, not the, the mega project is something that's going to be set aside right now for at least two migration ways, I would guess. So that is going to take quite a while to get set up because it takes it would take a while to cut off the river. I'm not I've never cut off a river before, so I'll have to experiment a bit offline and see if I can uh, get that properly uh, to work properly on a different uh, version and uh, see if I can get a river cut off. And then otherwise I have to, let's see here, another thing I have to do is I need my initial, I need my new migration wave basically. I need to get that migrant wave. Once I do get that migrant wave, I will be able to get so much more stuff done. I can start getting cheese from these uh, boozeberry uh, goats. I can start uh, really messing around with all the other stuff around, around here that needs to get done. Get all the walls done, get all the gates set up properly. Get my trade depot. Actually, I want to build my trade depot right now just so I don't forget the damn thing because God knows I will. Alright, build it out of basalt. So God knows I'll forget it. I will. I'll do it. It's unfortunate, but yeah. As a matter of fact, you know what? Well, they can come on either they can come from either side. So I don't really know where they're gonna come from. They could come from down here, they could come from over here, they could come from God knows where. I don't know. They could come from this side. I'd have to build them a bridge. I really hope they don't come from this side. That would suck. That would suck. Alright, so anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, we got to get some traps down for the unicorns and all the other random stuff. Uh, we got to get those, the, we're going to get like a, a basically an animal trap wall set up right down here, which is basically just a uh, kind of a pyramid shaped wall on one side and the other side filled with traps. Uh, we'll set up the same thing down here, like a pyramid shape to kind of trap them and kind of funnel them through here into our little V hole of trapping death and uh, we'll get our we'll get our animal trainer training them and uh, get our knowledge of training whatever it is increased over time and so on and so forth we'll get the main uh, major wall here started next time and everything else we need to get done but yeah thank you guys for watching so much hopefully you've enjoyed want a dwarf send it in the comments I will see what I can do uh, have yourselves a good one, and I will see you guys next week for some more uh, Masterwork Dwarf Fortress Season 4. Looking amazing. Can't wait. And if you if you guys enjoy this, please do check out some of my other content as well. I'd appreciate it. I do have a Warband Master... Uh, Master... Master... Mountain Blade Warband uh, series I'm doing right now, as well as a Orc Fortress, uh, which I'm currently... I think I have to reset that one at this point to a new season. Yeah, it basically, I might do like an undead biome for that, a challenge fortress for that, which is going to be insane. But yeah, have a good one, everybody. See you next week.